online black travel fashion show is the first of its kind. We merge travel and fashion in a way that introduces you to some of the hottest travel destinations, black fashion designers, influencers, and talents. Do not make the mistake in thinking this is just a fashion show because we did not come to play. The designers are pretty incredible and in all cases, they accept orders for custom work. So if you love travel and love to floss, do not miss this show. Tickets are available at blacktravelersnetwork.com. Just look for Black Travel Fashion Show and click to grab your ticket. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jess, and I'm with Black Travelers Network, as you know. And today's video, I want to just drop a quick video. You know, let's talk about it. Comedian Monique, she did like a five minute video where she kind of checked a little uh, bit. Uh, well, she kind of checked the sisters a little bit on how we are showing up to the airport. And I just wanted to just say these very quick words and I'll provide a link uh, to the video uh, at the end of this so you can check the timestamp because I will include it. So if you haven't seen what Monique had to say, you can hear it now. But my opinion on it is this. What I took from her video is not that she's saying sisters that we need to show up to the airport dressed to the nines okay because to be honest like all this makeup that i have on and just you know dressing like i'm fresh off the runway that's not something i do that's not something i've ever done because i do want to be comfortable when i travel and so I understand the importance of traveling and being comfortable because oftentimes many of my travels are long haul flights. And so you definitely have to get uh, in the mode where you're comfortable because you're going to be sitting. You'll probably need to stand and stretch for a bit. So all of that is important. But what Monique said, I believe, is absolutely correct in that showing up to the airport in bonnets, head wraps, scarves, slippers, um, house shoes, like all of that is just to me, to me, my opinion, please, ladies and gentlemen, do not get offended. I do think it's a bit inappropriate. And here's why, you know, Monique identified some very specific reasons why she feel it, it, it's inappropriate. But I've been in airports where we had to evacuate. I've been in airports where uh, I'll never forget many, many years ago, I was in, uh, in Paris and there was a bomb scare in the airport. So we had to clear the airport. Like you just never know what can happen or will go down while you're traveling. And so I always say it's better to err on the side of caution and at least be prepared. Like you don't have to, you know, do the most, but you definitely should do something that's at least appropriate. I'm not a huge fan of the bonnets and head wraps and scarves. And you know what, to, as a matter of fact, to uh, help uh, a number of you who, uh, you know, love your bonnets and love your head wraps and scarves, I believe what I'll try to do is I'll try to make sure we do a short little series on how to wrap your hair appropriately for when you travel internationally or domestically, because that's the other thing I can understand the long haul flights and wanting to put on your pajamas and all that. But the reality is even that is not the best way to show up. You know, I just, I'm not a huge fan of that either. And I, I know I've, we picked some of you guys up from the airports and you are, you are dressed how you're dressed. And again, it's absolutely no judgment because oftentimes once you get to the destination that you're in, you know, y'all look good. <laughs> you really look good. And you wrap yourself in, uh, in these scarves and you wrap, put these bonnets on. But when you take them off, you, your hair is laid. It's everything is together. So I do want to give uh, the sister's credit for that. But um, I, I agree with her. Uh, and I, I also want to say that this is 
another great opportunity to explore our Black Travel Fashion Show. Maybe you can get some ideas for how to, you know, dress when you're heading to the airport. We feature different designers, different uh, influencers, uh, fashion uh, fashionistas and fashion icon influencers that will give you an idea of, uh, you know, a little bit more appropriate dress for the airport. So I, I appreciate, appreciate you guys for listening. And I'd like for you to take a listen to Monique and hear more about what she has to say about it. Thank you guys for watching. Click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Hey, my sweet babies. So um, it took me a minute to say what I'm getting ready to say because I want to make sure I'm not saying it in judgment. And I want to make sure I'm saying it from a place of love. Y'all, some of y'all have given me the title of auntie. And... I'm honored that y'all do that, right? But there are times where auntie got to talk to her babies and say some real shit. So yesterday I was in the airport in Atlanta because I'm in Jackson, Mississippi now at Chuckles Comedy Club, right? And we got three shows tonight. We got a matinee at 530, then we got seven, then we got 10, right? And I'm excited. I always love going to the stage. So when we got to the airport yesterday, I was excited, like, all right, baby, let's go get him in Jackson, Mississippi. And as we began to walk through the airport, I saw so many, actually too many to count and too many for me to tap. But I saw so many of our young sisters in head bonnets, scarves, slippers, pajamas, Blankets wrapped around them. And this is how they're showing up to the airport. And it, I've been seeing it, not just at the airport. I've been seeing it at the store, at the mall. I've been seeing sisters showing up with these bonnets and headscarves and their slippers. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? When did we step away of let me make sure I'm presentable when I leave my home. Let me make sure I'm representing the family I created so that if I'm out in the street, I look like I have pride in myself. And I'm not saying no full face of makeup. I'm not saying no full front lace frontal. I'm not saying none of that. All I'm saying is, could you please comb your hair? And if you don't want to comb your hair, they got enough shit out here now, baby, where you can style yourself up and look like you have pride. I'm not saying you don't have pride, but the representation that you're showing, someone would have to ask you to know that you had it. So my sweet babies, for the ones that do call me auntie, I love you for real. Even the ones that don't, I love y'all asses too. But the babies that say auntie to me, Please listen to auntie. Always have pride in your representation of you. It's not to get a man. It's not. It is just your representation of you, my sweet babies. So I'm just giving y'all a warning. If I see you in the streets, in the airport, in the Walmart, and you got a bonnet on and you got slippers on and you looking like what the fuck? Our Nikki gonna tap you and say, hey, baby girl, show you what you worth. Show you what you deserve. So all of those posts that you see celebrities putting out there saying, hey, queen, hey, queen, hey, queen. Well, can we start putting it into action? So I'm asking our wiser sisters, when we see our little babies out there looking like they just don't care, and I'm not saying y'all don't, it looks like it. Can we just tap them and say, baby girl, you deserve more than what you're showing. Represent you with pride, my babies. And that may be a part of us helping our community. Because if you look like you don't give a damn, how you gonna be treated? So when I say, hey queen, I can only say it to the sisters that it belongs to. 
because a lot of us are still in queen training. So if you're in queen training, stop being fearful of taking your position. And queens don't walk around with bonnets and headscarves and slippers and pajamas. That's for the house. When you go outside, represent you, baby, like you are worthy and you deserve the title of Hey Queen. I Nikki love y'all for real. And I ain't never gonna BS you. Stop wearing them damn bonnets and head scarves looking like don't nobody give a damn about you nor do you give a damn about yourself. Cause you beautiful. So represent it. I love y'all for real, my babies.